What is context engineering? You probably already know about prompt engineering, which is basically where we manipulate both the system prompt and the messages we send to the large language model to get it to behave. Context engineering is the next natural step from there where we control everything the large language model has direct access to at any given time. Okay, can you give some examples of what might be in the context window? Anything your large language model needs to directly access, but some common things include the chat history, what tools your large language model has access to, and any documents you might've pulled into reference in real time. Well, all right, but newer models have huge context windows. Can we just give them everything and call it a day? Not really. Although these context windows are large, they're not infinite. And as we add more and more information to the context window, the performance of the model tends to degrade. Anthropic calls this context rot. Okay, so what can I do to prevent this? There's a couple core strategies engineers can use to mitigate this. The first one is called compaction. Let's say we have 5,000 tokens of chat history. We can use a model to summarize that chat history and reduce it down to something like 500 tokens. But keep in mind that we will lose the exact details of the conversation with this method. What if I do want to preserve the exact details of the conversation. Another thing we could do is move data from the context window into an external memory and make it accessible via some tool. This does let us preserve the details of that context, but now your large language model won't have it directly accessible. It will need to invoke some tool to access that data. Mm, all right, is there anything else I can do? A third common strategy is to delegate tasks to agents instead of having one agent try to do everything. Let's say you want to build a mobile game. Instead of having one model try to handle everything, which will quickly absorb the entire context window, we can have dedicated agents, one for researching documentation and putting together best practices, and another one for actually writing the code. 